Okay, welcome to my channel. Okay, uh, it's it's quite late at night already. Okay, I haven't been able to find time to do this video because uh, there's a lot of launches going on. Uh, a lot of new launch like Northwood Grand, uh, Lolong Chuan, la, uh, Novo Place EC. Uh. So anything, uh, anyway, the last few months for 2024 is going to be like a new launch quarter because all the launches will be launching and everything if you need any help you can engage me to represent you for the new launch okay there's no agent fee okay so after the advertisement <laughs> okay so basically i just want to share with you that uh before i do this video i already did a video on the members section okay on youtube so if you are a member you will see a very detailed video that i make about the property market and about the latest news and also i start to review some new launches uh in the members video okay why i do it in the members video i need to explain myself i'm not trying to earn your 15 dollars i'm trying to put in a members video so that it's not public number one number two it gives me the flexibility and the freedom to say what i want and not get involved in whoever and whatever okay so i think it's very important that i put it in the members video so that i can say anything i want and i can be as truthful as possible and no need to censor and think like hey should i say this should i say that and all these things okay but i feel that i should attend this to the public so this is why i'm doing this video now which i feel that is a very very important video uh, i will suggest you to finish the video and i think that this video is going to be very long I've been having a lot of conversation with a lot of different customer, whether it's seller and buyer for the last few months. And a lot of things are happening in the property market. Um, they are not very direct. They are not very clear. They are not very, um, they are not very uh, clear cut. It's getting very confusing in the property market. And if you watch my last video, I say that it's very boring. Boring, why? Because things are not moving as fast as the last few years. Uh, I do agree with a lot of my customer that things was going well for the last three to four years. You know, there's nothing to worry. Uh, you buy anything, you also make money, okay? Like I always say, I don't know if you watch my video last year, I say you buy dustbin, also make money. Okay, you buy car park, also make money. But today, I think the property market is very different today. We are back to fundamentals. And I'm very, I'm proud to say that I have been reminding you, my viewers, about this for the past few years and for the past few months. And if you follow my video and you follow my channel, I always stick to fundamentals. Like example, I always say that cheap doesn't mean good. You know, you better buy a good property than buy a cheap property. And I always say that Lose money is not the most scary thing. The most scary thing is you buy something and cannot sell. Nobody want to buy from you. So these are things that I say, 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 but in the last three to four years, nobody care because everything also can sell. Everything also make money. But now we have reached the era and the, the, the part where the gate has opened, you know. Things start to cannot sell already. Uh, things start to have difficulty. Things start to be less smooth than last time. Renter are having issues. And I always tell people that, hey, you know, the situation in the market is that if you are the good property, you will still do well. If you are the not good property, you will start to see the impact. Hey, it's happening today. This is already happening. I don't know if you see or not. This is already happening. It's happening uh, strongly. The impact is is very big. Can You can witness it if you are in the market every day. So why am I saying all this? Because if you look at the newspaper on the private property, I feel that a lot of this article that is talking about the statistics, talking about uh, the numbers, I feel that they don't reflect the market correctly and they give the consumer a very bad impression and a very bad understanding about what is really happening in the reality today. So like example, they say Singapore private private home price slipped 1.1% in Q3, first drop since Q2, 2023. Okay, then inside they will tell you everything drop, la, whatever, la, for the first time price drop, la, you know. Is 1.1% very a lot? I think 1.1% is not a lot. 1.1% is very little. 
Okay, and then they say that uh, the bigger segment that is dropped is uh, CCR. And I remember I read somewhere was uh, landed property. So I just want to say something is that the volume has also dropped. So the drop in volume uh, is how much? Uh? Okay, I don't know. I need to find the article again. But anyway, I just want to say is that all these drops, uh, all these transactions, all these data are based on units that has been sold. Okay, these are based on units that have been transacted. So, how about units that cannot sell? How about units that are having difficulty selling? How about units that have been in the market for 3 months, 4 months, 5 months that cannot sell? Is there any statistics on it? And were these statistics reflect the correct sentiments of the other people that cannot sell? Because you see, I just now I share. The market, the, the properties that are doing well, they're still doing well. If you know properties that are doing well, I don't want to name them, but there's private properties that still get record price. Recently, in the last few months, they still hit the highest transaction price. They still hit the highest per square feet price. They they still sell. You know, they sell until you go to Property Guru, you realize that, hey, don't have transaction there. Eh. Okay, don't have transaction. Okay, for now, uh, I just want to say as a whole, uh, but I'm referring more to private property. They are referring more to private property. But there's another group of condos that for the last quarter, there may be zero transaction or one transaction or this year, they may only have two transactions, three transactions. And maybe for the last three months, uh, the number of units rented are only one compared to last year, there's like six. So the, tra the, 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 the statistics and the transactions, they are not reflecting or they are not giving the correct signal and the correct information to the public today. This is what I feel. So the good properties, I would say the good properties are selling well. They are still selling well. They still justify for good price. They are still very easy to sell. I have properties that still sell in one week, two weeks. But I have other properties that cannot sell for three months, four months, five months, six months. So I feel that we have to understand the property market correctly because we are entering the next phase or we are already in the next phase. We are at the start of the next phase. Is the is everybody in Singapore correct and understanding, has the correct understanding of what is really happening in the property market today? And if you look at HDB, uh, I, I will want to say that for this HDB part, right, is is a little bit complicated. Uh, I don't know where's the statistics, but I saw the HDB news. Hold on, uh, let me pull it out. Uh. Uh, so two days ago, the HDB resale price speed up in quarter three, rising 2.5%. Over half of the flat now sold for 600,000 or more. Okay, so does it mean that the property market for overall market, whether is it private property and HDB, does it mean that since HDB prices is going up, does it mean that the property market is doing very well? The answer is no. Because like I say again, all this rise in properties are mostly transacted, are like the new properties. So you see with so many MOP properties like Pinadari, they are clocking like minimum 870,000, 880,000 to 1.1 1 .1 million. Uh, recently, I have customers that go to Margaret. Margaret is asking for like 1.4 million for a four room. Uh, then when you get the valuation, you got shock of your life. I don't want to say how much, you know. The thing is, all these things uh, that is happening in the market. Yes, I do agree that over here, they write that a hey, price increase, but this is because a lot of these units transacted are those newer units. But how about those other categories of HDB flats? Are they also doing well? Are they also selling well? My, my, I feel personally, uh, they are not doing as well as this newer HDB flat market. Okay, so, I think we are, we need to be very careful and we need to understand the property market correctly. Instead of just uh, looking at statistics and assuming that, hey, like, 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 you know, it's like today you look at the private property news, they say that hey, private property uh, transaction drop, la, price drop 1.1%. Is it today means that property price drop? 
It doesn't mean that eh, because if you go to those good properties, uh, they are still getting record price in the last few months. They're still getting very good transaction. They're still selling within two, three weeks. But if you go to some of the condos that is not so good, eh, they cannot sell, you know, they, they cannot uh, get a buyer. They have been in the market for two, three months. You know, they, they have having difficulty selling. So there's an extreme two ends. And I remember that I talked about this in the last few months and things are really really happening already so i don't want to explain too much i don't want to go into the details so much but i did a members video and i just want to remind you if you really want to understand what's the market what is happening to the market today go and watch the members video because in the members video i did explain some of the scenarios uh, what is happening the red race marketing uh calling the wrong price do you really understand the market and all these things okay in the next video i will share with you my view on what will happen in the last quarter which is october november and december and i can say that these three months are big months coming ahead if you miss these three months i don't know what to say but I will explain more in the next video, okay? Because these three months are crucial months and it will determine the 2025 direction. So that's it. Hit the like button, subscribe button. I see you in the next episode and bye-bye.